Why is it that in 2025, HD zero is getting more popular than ever when the image is arguably better than analog? It costs almost twice as much. And to understand the menu, looks like you need an engineering degree. That's what we're gonna to answer today. G'day, you absolute legend. Stu here from UAV Futures, and you might be saying, hey, what is the hype about HD Zero? Recently, you would have seen the release of their Box Pro. It looks pretty cool, and you'll be asking yourself, what is all the hype? Why are people talking about HD Zero so much? That's what we're answering today. So on the bench, and shout out Chris Croft, I couldn't do this without you guys, the amazing community support. We've got a pair of HD Zero goggles, and the big one in this one, we're gonna be answering the question. If you're a new pilot, should you get this? Who's it for? What are the pitfalls and what are the pros? What are the things we like? Now, a bit of an overview before we go out to the field, hand it over to some other pilots and we film their reactions. 650 Price to is seven. Ridiculous. All right. So you can get their first hand impressions, like straight off the bat. These pilots have never tried it before. Stickman, Steve, and some others. So you're going to find out do they like it? What do they think? Is it an upgrade? How does it compare? All that sort of stuff. But the overview for those who don't know, HD Zero, it's costing around $1,000 for this setup once you also mix it with uh, some air units as well. You might be saying to yourself, Stuart, that looks arguably better than analog. Like that image looks pretty terrible when I compare it to the latest DJI 04 air units. Why are people buying that and why are they flying that? Well, the answer, my friends, is latency. Now, for me, latency doesn't mean too much because I'm cruising around. I am not a racing pilot. I like vision more than anything else, I like cruising around, having a great time, seeing the beautiful scenery. For me, feeling like a bird, being an FPV is where it's at. However, those hardcore competitive racers out there, they're going to absolutely love HD Zero. Why is this taking hold? It doesn't matter if it looks like you're flying a potato, as long as that potato is fast. Now, I have done a full breakdown. You can go watch that video somewhere there. But this is the part I want to see. We're going to get out to the field. I'm going to hand it over to some pilots. We're going to get their impressions on it. And we're going to be talking about HD Zero so you can say, hey, is this good? Do I want it? Am I a racer? Now, we do have some different VTXs to try here as well. We're going to get out to the field. We're going to be talking about the menu, all that sort of stuff. Now, there is some important things to note about HD Zero, but let's go out to the field now first, have the fun part. Then we're going to come back and talk about the techs and the specs in just a little bit. So let's go rip it around, get some other pilots' perspectives in three, two, one. Radio out here in the field. Let's do it. Is HD Zero worth it in 2025? We've got Stickman Steve in the background. We're going to scream this thing around, have some fun, show you the DVR, do a bit of comparisons, find out. Should you spend your money on it? How does this goggle go? Who is it for? Or are you better, better suited with some other options? All right, let's do it. Oh, we just did a flight, but uh, we forgot to record the DVR. Okay. Oh, dear. Okay, all right. Take two, Steve. I don't know. No all right, go for it. No crashing this time. What do you mean? All right, so first impressions, the goggles, they are really nice fit. I do like them. They're very familiar to the Sky Zone fit. Okay. Um, I do have an odd shaped face, as most of you know and probably agree, but these, yep. these are really good. No light leak. I like the field of view. Um, I'm not even sure what VTX camera combo this is. Yep. But in terms of the visuals, right? Like the actual FPV feed, you the, mean? Yep, the FPV okay. experience, yes. the video to my eyes. It's just spicy analog, honestly. There's no detail at all. No Christmas to the leaves or trees or grass or anything. It's analog on its best day for me. Again, first time using it. We might be doing something a bit wrong, might be able to get it a bit clearer, but no, nah, it's it's not very impressive in terms of um, the way it looks, the okay. way it presents to the eye. What are the screens like, the actual, the screens inside the goggle? The screens were great. Yeah, I was navigating the menu before, just having a look around, and um, even just the clarity of the menu was great. Absolutely beautiful. So I'd love to see this with like a Walksnail VRX and get the full benefit of, of good screens with a nice digital image. Okay. What about latency? Can you go up a bit higher and do some like rolls left and right? Yeah, Don't crash the battery. quad like last time. Let's see what you think. Yeah, battery's about to die. Bring it in. Um, in terms of latency, no, honestly, it's it's nice, but it's just like analog. This um, well, even this image right here, looking at us just standing here. Yes. My knees are fuzzy. My head's fuzzy. We can probably record that in the DVR, right? Yeah, it'll be on the last image. Okay. Right, as soon as we start recording then, I've started to get these static lines, horizontal lines just right. sitting there. Okay. But yeah, the, the actual picture of right now, just sitting here so close to me with full reception, is real super fuzzy. Like your whole balcony and everything looks like um, like a pixelated line when you're doing Microsoft Draw. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. some 1990s Nintendo. Yeah. So, I mean, it might be a digital transmission system, but the picture quality is yuck. 
Yeah, I don't like it at all. all right, I'm going to unplug. Yeah, mate, no worries. Radio Stickman Steve. Yep. So, uh, final thoughts, or I should say impressions on HD Zero. And also the price, like 650 price to is seven. Ridiculous. All right. It is ridiculous for the goggles. Yeah, okay. They got heaps of cool little backpack features and things. Mm -hmm. I think 90% of pilots, unless they're just doing it for the wow factor, there's yep. no benefit to it. Okay. Um, in terms of racing, yeah, okay. It's proven itself on the track with latency and things like that. I, I don't really appreciate it as a digital system, to be honest. I like the lower latency of walk snail and the new dji that's fine for me to fly around and do heaps of cool stuff it's absolutely fine did you notice any difference going no. okay no that's i didn't honestly i didn't um i obviously haven't flown walk snail back to back with it yet yep yep which i might do in a minute just yep. to get a, a direct comparison but it was just like analog honestly just okay. like analog but nicer brighter colors no uh, who would you recommend them for races that's Anyone it. else? No. Oh, if, okay. <laughs> like, that's pretty succinct. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, yeah. all, all right. What do you think about the menu? You can talk about the menu and all those sorts of things. Menu's great. Like, as I said before, there's heaps of backpack functions and things. And honestly, I'm so naive. I, I don't care enough to know what it, it does, yep. what it's all about. Yep. Um, the menu itself, the optics were great. I think the screens and the goggles themselves are awesome quality. Mm -hmm. Don't think they justify 1200 Aussie or 650 or whatever it is US. Yes, yes. You just can't justify. Look what you can get on the market with other systems. And interestingly enough too, recently since the 04 lights come out, yeah, it's got its quirks and its issues. So does this system. But there's guys like Evan Turner doing race mode tests with it. Mm -hmm. And it is pretty impressive what they can do. The latency they can get out of it and the control they still have on a track is pretty impressive. So I think other systems are definitely going to catch up. Maybe not as good, but they're definitely getting there, right? But you've still got that nice juicy image. Yeah, so that's. I think that I agree. That's probably the biggest downfall of HD Zero is what it actually looks yeah. like. It's a so. proven system, but it's it's becoming outdated. I think. All right, thumbs up, thumbs down, or in the middle. For Fair. me, thumbs down. Okay. Honestly, yeah. All right. I would never rush out to buy it. Okay. Do anything. Thank you. Cool. Do you want to do you want to try walks now and see if you can notice that latency? I do. Yeah. I okay. Do. Let's do that right now. Oh, so much nicer. What do you mean? All right. So make sure you've got your DVR going and a bit of a quick comparison because even though you can talk about the image, I really want to know if how you feel the latency. Yeah. All yeah. right. So go up, do a few flippy flops for me. Straight up, image is obviously going to be ten times better. Yep. And this is just a um, walk snail nano, tiniest camera they make. Yes. But. Beautiful, crisp image. The latency, how it performs and you know, translates to your eyes through the goggles. A little bit maybe, a little bit. I'm never gonna push it as hard as a racer, but still got, yeah. I don't think it's too much to worry about. I don't think most people can really notice Okay. 10 milliseconds of a second anyway. Oh, it's yeah, well, most pilots. I guarantee pilots, you racers yeah. are going to be in the comments saying, I feel it, but yep, yep. Yeah, and that's that's what we're aiming at here though, right? Like, is this a viable system for someone who's looking at either upgrading for analog or just coming into it because it is bloody expensive for the goggles? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can have a whole quad, Radio Master Pocket, and some N3 goggles with the brand new DJI beautiful image for the same price as one pair of goggles. Okay, yes. You do have the the option of the HD Zero box goggles, but you're still going to be getting that same, even more limited with the functions of those goggles, that same limited experience. That you know? same DVR feed that gets fed back to you. Yeah, which is just not impressive. All right, so I'm going to let you bring this in because we've flown this system a hundred times. Yeah. I really want you to test the latency for me Yeah. and tell me if you could feel it, but I will bring it in and get your final thoughts. Yeah, no worries at all. All right, Stickman Steve, you just flew them back to back. Yep. What was the latency difference like for you? For me, minimal. All right. A little bit. Would it make a difference to your flying? No, not at all. Okay. Uh, I think it would. HD Zero would impede my flying because I'm not super quick. I'm not doing super tight. I love proximity, but I love being able to see what I'm flying. Around, okay. You know? All right. I'm not just flying a track repeatedly. I know where the gates are. I know yes. where my turns are. Yes. And that's where this would stand out, obviously. It's, it is low latency. There's yep. no denying that. Yep. The image quality for me, if I was just coming in or looking to upgrade from analog, no. Definitely not. All right. It's, it's the same as analog, just brighter, okay. in my opinion. Yeah. But the cost. Okay, all right. ridiculous. I have a question. I got a question for you, Steve, that I think uh, is going to be quite interesting. Yep. Let's pretend you're coming into the hobby tomorrow yep. and I'm giving you a pair of goggles. Yep. You get a pair of goggles. You've got two choices. You can choose the HD Zeros. Let's pretend you know nothing flagship. about the cost. Yeah, those flagships. Yep. Or the budget entry N3 DJIs. No question. You'd choose those? Yeah, 100%. Why? 
They're nice. They're okay. lighter on the face. They're comfortable. The I've used these just a little bit. There is no light leak for me, which is a big thing with my face shape. Mm -hmm. But the, the transmission quality, the, the image in your eyes yes. and the DVR, it's just far superior. All right. So, yeah. So, these goggles are about three times the price of, crazy, of right? those. Well, maybe like two and a half or something. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, who should get HD Zero then? Anyone who's hardcore racing or maybe wants to get a, a Walksnail VRX, but then you, you're just expanding your cost even more, right? You can just buy you know a Walksnail I mean? set of goggles. Exactly. Yeah. And they got the, the goggles light or whatever they're called. Okay. Yeah, honestly. HD yeah. Zero 2025, worth it for you? Nah. Okay. <laughs> maybe for races though. Yeah, races. Okay. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, no, nah, definitely not. Well, in my opinion, why would you? If you want some nice looking footage you want to see what you're looking at while you're going yep and the transmission i've seen people aren't doing long range with hd mm -hmm. yep so it, it ticks one box yes that's it Do we? all right thank you thank you very much steve uh i want to point out too like we are not professional racers oh definitely not and we're just everyday pilots yeah. so i know the internet's going to be on fire a little bit here in the background given a bit of slander there is nothing wrong with HD Zero if it's suiting your flying style and what you like to do and i 100 percent agree with racers who stand by it yep but for, I guess, our sort of flying, yeah. it's not going to be our choice. And like so. with, with me too, I'm pretty invested in walks now. Yep. DJI is awesome and it's affordable these days, mm -hmm. but I'm happy with the system I've got. Yes. So if you've already got this and you're happy with it, it's not a slander. It's just comparing apples for apples. Yep. Especially entry-level digital these days is so much nicer to fly, yep. in my opinion. Yeah. I agree. Too easy. All right. Thank you, Steve. Easy. I feel like I've flown this before, but let's take it for a little spin, see how we go. Alrighty, now you're right with the colors and everything like that. Like I've done some latency tests, I'll put some videos on the screen as well, but the colors look really nice. The mm. actual screens that I'm looking at, they look really nice as well. But <clears throat> yeah, that spicy analog, man, it just, it's like everything's a little bit fuzzy. It's like playing on a lower resolution when if you want to cruise around and see something really nice, this is not going to be the system for you. Now, I know racers are going to like it. You can feel that latency, especially if you're doing some flippy flops and things like that. I would argue that most pilots are not at that level where they're going to get the most out of it. One big thing though, like socially, if you're going to the races and you want to integrate with other pilots there without stomping all over people, this is probably the easiest system to be able to do that. The other systems are catching up though. Yeah, you do have race modes and those sorts of things yeah. in the other one. So I found the experience from these much like your 04 Pro goggles. Okay. With a really good VTX and camera setup. Yep, yep. Now look, we are getting a few lines that are coming across the screen as well. Maybe that's a little bit of interference, I'm not too sure. But that's still, even if that wasn't there, the actual clarity of like the things like the trees, the grass, <clears throat> the driveway, the house, even that still looks like it's just been smeared a little bit with Vaseline. And also the breakup, I know that's something that a lot of pilots sort of like because they're coming from analog. I don't. I don't know why they have to flash a white pixel when it's missing that piece of data. I think there's better solutions on how to handle that. That's just, just my interpretation of what flying's like. It's definitely trying to cater for those people who want to want like the best possible analog that you can get now look i want to be as fair to hd zero as i can be which way in my flight i don't know why i was getting some crazy static like that wasn't there in steve's uh dvr but i want to give this the best chance that it can i want to put it up against the best as well which is why i've included some flights here this is from one of my mates he is flying around at an indoor whip event using hd zero and in stickman steve's flight we compared it to a bit of walk snail and so you can see here just the difference in the image quality between HD0 or the spicy analog versus something like the e DJI as well. We'll put some DVR of that on the screen. So I don't know, just in editing, I felt that this was fair. I wanted to be fair to HD0 and not just show my flights, but show some other flights as well and some comparisons. So you guys can make up your own mind. It's just in a really tough place, unless you're a race side. I don't really see yeah. a market for it. And even with the Box Pros coming out, like this is their flagship model and the box pros aren't offering really anything extra that these aren't and they're incredibly expensive i think for for comparatively what else you can get on the market all right i'm going to bring it in the hard part is really just the price for what you get in terms of your video video for you are paying a lot of money hundreds of dollars just to have a couple of milliseconds lower mm. latency that might be a big deal for some races absolutely you've got the things like the 04 pros with their race mode and stuff and i see evan turner 
Uh, he absolutely crushed it. Like some of those lap times were pretty consistent and pretty close when he was racing with JB. I know 04 Light is get oh the 04s are getting more popular at some race events as well. But look, um, if you've got Hasty Zero, nothing wrong with it. But don't expect miracles in terms of image transmission and what it actually looks like. Yeah, I think. for sure. So, yeah, for, you've got better solutions for ninety percent of the audience out there. Those ten percent of racing pilots, they're they're going to have. It's good that they have an option like this that they can invest to if they're really after that latency. So, I feel that if I was considering this to upgrade from analog from yep. a cheaper beginner really beginner setup like your e-sheens or something yeah, yeah, yeah. i'd be forever trying to justify this okay you know what i mean like trying to make myself it's so much money isn't yeah, it yeah that's right and it doesn't come with the battery i should say no. as well and yeah they do integrate with analog but you still got to buy that analog adapter yeah on top of that so. and you, you can jack a vrx into it but yes. you can do that with your, your good good sky zones yes, you know, which are a fraction of the price yeah yeah that's that's interesting yeah, yeah. Alrighty, now you may be asking yourself after seeing those pilots and their impressions on it and seeing the footage of it in the air and the comparisons, why would you get HD Zero? And the answer is simple. For most pilots out there, you're not going to. It's not gonna be best suited for you. The other part is why you're hearing so much about it, because I've just released a new product and they are doing some really, really cool things. Like this is the important part, if you are a racer, HD Zero is absolutely smashing it. I think they're bringing some really cool stuff to market. I'm so happy they've got a cheaper Box Pro version as well. However, for most pilots, if you looked at the percentage and maybe I'll put a poll up on the screen, HD Zero is just not offering enough. Like image is a lot of FPV, like the first person view, the view, what it actually looks like is a huge part of our hobby. And it is so hard for HD Zero to compete when you've got things like the DJI 04 Pro Air units out there nowadays, like a 10 out of 10 video to something which is like a six or a 6.5 at best, like that spicy analog from here. Now, if you don't care about it, you're gonna love it. A big part too, it is a little bit more expensive, which is also gonna put some people off. But if you're going to the races, either go analog or HD zero, they're gonna play nicely with the ecosystems that they've got there. They've got a range too. Like if you went into whoop racing, you're really going to have some good digital options. Now look, you can see my first impressions actually flying around HD zero. I'm gonna link this video up there. And the final part, I wanna say a huge shout out to the community. Like I couldn't do this without you. And if you are one of the people that found this video useful and you, know, and you said, you know what, Stu, I value that information. Thanks for getting some other pilots impressions. Though these videos do take time to make. There is a members only video down there with a whole bunch of extras. So if you wanna join up, sign up today, it not only supports the channel, you get some extra out of it and I get to make more content for you guys. These weren't sent for review. I know my DJI Goggles 3 weren't sent for review. Like I couldn't do this without your support. So I wanna say thank you so much. If you're one of those people that does sign up, it is truly, truly appreciated to you and my patrons. On that, go watch this video.